Hello everybody, welcome back to this brand new video and today's episode we're going to discuss about your headphone jack is not working for any series of iPod that you might have, let's say like iPod mini, iPod nano, iPod supple or iPod. Well, this problem mainly happens for hardware related issues. And also, there could be some other reason for this problem as well. Let's go ahead and solve this problem as soon as we can without even opening your any iPod physically. The first things we're gonna just go ahead and do is very simple, especially if you're using the iPod Classic. The very first way that you can follow to give it a troubleshoot is simple. Just go ahead and press down the menu button and the middle button together unless you see the Apple logo appears on your device. Now afterward, let's go ahead and try to check whether your problem is solved or not. If you're still having the same problem, the next things you have to do, you need to clean your headphone jack, because as you guys can tell, now it's been a really long time that Apple has introduced this product, but you know, using it for over time, there could be a lot of dust particle, could be getting inside and it can be getting stuck. Now, you can simply use a cotton bar just like that and spray some alcohol on the cotton bar and you can place it in there in water to remove this dust particle from it. Now, just go ahead and place it in there and move it around and see that dust particle is coming out along with the cotton bars or not. Well, after cleaning it, let's go ahead and check whether you're being able to solve your problem or not. If you're still having the same problem. Now, the next things I want you guys to take a look at is the aux cable for your headphones. Now, if your headphones, especially the 3mm jack, is faulty, then this issue can happen with your any series of iPod. Then all you can do, you simply can change your aux cable to see if that works. If possible, or if you cannot change the aux cable, then all you can do is simply can change the headphone and try to use something else to see if that really works or not. If this doesn't work to solve your problem, there's a one last thing that you can simply do. Place the 3mm jack inside of your port. You can do two things here. You either can just take them out and take them in just quite frequently. And also, while you're listening to music, now twist it upward or backward to solve your problem. Now, this is what you can do, especially, I mean, that will help you to solve your problem if it is not the problem with the hardware. However, if it is happening because of the hardware related issue, in that case, you need to take your iPod to the nearby service station where you can go and you simply can fix your hardware related issue. So these are the things you guys can literally do on your iPod Nano, iPod Mini, iPod Shuffle or iPod Classic to solve your problem. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys again.